just do a little perfect hi everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another stream today is june 8 2020 and we're having an open discussion on current events news politics economics and much more interesting times we live in so let's talk about it let's see what the game is at play okay and uh, again we've done a lot of these before in the last uh, i guess two plus years now uh, aside from all the content we've created over the last 15 years or so uh, all of it layered on top of a lot of mathematics and uh, these discussions take us everywhere and it is an open discussion and uh, we'll see where it takes us uh, right now we do plan on whatever we talk about we do plan on uploading it to youtube and bitshoot but we'll see if the topics get too sensitive for youtube so if they do we'll just make it a bitshoot exclusive spider-man how are you doing brother hope you're doing well interesting time was us was you was us how are you doing welcome to another live stream so that's my little quick intro zare how's life brother saw some massive massive demonstrations numbers in la eh? very cool very cool very cool indeed right bucking bay how are you doing love you chicho thank you very much for the love <laughs> appreciate it i uploaded a oof seriously love crazed math stream that we did uh, uploaded to bitshoot on youtube today so that was uh, a tear jerker all right pretty intense goldilocks how are you doing welcome welcome huckleberry how are you doing hey how's it going chicho and chat i'll be mostly lurking i'm at the gym right now nice hope you're having a good workout hope you're having a good workout demonstrations across the country chicho i've attended two or three in cleveland last week nice nice i hope the vibe is good man i hope the vibe is good and demonstrations do bring out uh protests do bring about social justice social change i mean i put out a video in 2007 i should track that down let me track that down just sitting here relaxing uh learning excel i love it but difficult ah excel nice nice excel is crucial man excel is crucial protests let me find you this video while i do my little intro here we go <laughs> what would it tell you what i call this video check this out i put out this video in 2007 okay 2007 i called it introduction to world war three and the importance of attending peace rallies right let me run that by you again introduction to world war three and and the importance of attending peace rallies and again i put this out in 2007 right so here's the link uh, da, da, da. chicho how on earth are people ignoring the fact that we weren't allowed to protest uh reopening but you can protest be brother uh one thing it is one thing is too we have to i actually appreciate that the the lockdowns or the suggested quarantines and stuff like this they were happening they came out rolled them out about you know depending on where you were like two three months ago four months ago or so right and everything's coming out of lockdown right now so these demonstrations are coinciding with people coming out of lock lockdown right so what's happening is it's it's transitioning so it, i appreciate that people are comparing it how come we weren't allowed to do this but it's it's a little you have to take the time factor and play i know things are rolling out crazy fast that's the problem right now they're going back to uh COVID talk exactly right dragons how are you doing what's up chicho how's it going good doing well lost 69 69 69 hello professor not a professor but the goatee does what it does <laughs> the goatee does what it does right perfect timing for arizona i think we're a we're a hot spot now possibly a lot of places might be um 
I'm going to do my little intro, gang. If you want to follow this work, I'm on Patreon, patreon.com backslash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to support this work, Patreon is a fantastic way to support this work. I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything I do is Creative Commons. You want to share, you want to remix, you just want to follow, follow the work on Patreon. And after a while, if you appreciate what we're doing here and you do have the means to support this project by contributing funds, Patreon is a fantastic way to do so. Okay. We are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv backslash Chicho Live, C H Y C H O L I V E. If you want to participate in these discussions as they are happening, Twitch is where you want to be at. And by following and subscribing, you can also support this project through Twitch. Okay. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Twitter, Gabs, Minds, VK, and Elo. And I do share additional content, some additional content on those platforms. So if you want to see what's going on, you can follow the work there as well. Okay. I am recording this on a lapel mic and it will be going up. Oh, I forgot to turn this on. Doop. Oh, because this thing turned off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We forgot to turn on the <laughs> sound. <laughs> Doop. let's turn on the sound i got caught up in the chat right away test 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 yes we are okay i'm gonna go through this little intro speedy gonzalez style okay and we are recording and we are recording hello everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another another stream today is june 8th 2020 and we're doing an open discussion live stream current events politics economics and whatnot we've done a few of these over the last few years two plus years on twitch as live streams and we've talked uh or we've put out a lot of content in the last 15 years 14 15 years um regarding a lot of topics right um we are live streaming this on twitch if you want to follow this work, Patreon is where you want to be at. Patreon.com backslash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. I am live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv backslash Chicho Live, C-H-Y-C-H-O-L-I-V-E. I do announce these live streams on Twitter, Gabs, Minds, VK, and Elo. If you want to follow the work, you can follow it there. I am recording this on a lapel mic. <laughs> and we will be uploading the audio of this discussion on SoundCloud. Okay, so if you want to just listen to the audio, SoundCloud is where you want to be at. And for those of you who are listening to this on SoundCloud, I went through the Speedy Gonzalez style, the intro, because I forgot to turn on the recording, so I had to go back a little bit and go through it fast. Okay, so if you are listening to this on SoundCloud, welcome. I hope you enjoy these discussions. The video is being recorded, and it is being live streamed on Twitch, and we will be uploading this video to bitchute and if the discussion does not lead us to a place where the censors will deplatform us on YouTube we will also upload it to YouTube but we can take the discussion anywhere you guys want I am comfortable uh, making this a bitchute exclusive if the discussion is going in that direction okay aside from that uh, welcome everyone sorry I had to do that uh, little intro uh, twice but uh, must be done, must be done. Okay. Uh, hit ground, sorry for not making that, that, that. I'm gonna scroll because I know, um, I'm gonna scroll down because I know uh, there's some chat that kept on coming up uh, that, 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 that I've missed because I had to go through the stream, uh, through the intro twice. There was a large uh, dragons, there was a large healthcare worker, Black Lives Matter march in New York City yesterday. I've been demonstrating as well, but I still think it's funny that everyone collectively stopped giving a shit about the lockdowns, right? Let me take these things down, by the way. Um, the platforms that I'm active on, that way we gotta open, uh, Open stream. Sup, me To wa wa crop. To wa wa crop. How are you doing? God bless Chicho Jack. Let's go. Our 
Uh, God bless you, Cho. Excited to be here. I've been able to free up a lot of time now. I'm off work. Would you have any suggestions for a skill that might be worth picking up? Uh, depends how much time you have um, to put in. Uh, if you don't know programming, programming is a fantastic thing to pick up. I still don't know. You know, I took programming a long time ago when I was at university, uh, but I don't know programming. I know a little bit of HTML just for the blogging, stuff like this. Um, knowing how to record audio, video, edit audio and video is probably a good thing uh, to pick up if you're into sharing information. Okay. Uh, knowing Excel, Word, like a word, not, not word, I, I shouldn't say Excel either, right? Because they're proprietary software, I'd rather be open source, right? But learning how to use a spreadsheet is absolutely a must in these times, right? And learning how to use a word processor is absolutely a must in these times, right? So spreadsheet, word processor, different types of software that you need to learn, right? And whatnot, and it depends where you want to go, right? Riley Chan, hello, hello for real. Riley Chan for real. Welcome to our live stream. Uh, a strange question, but don't you know any mathematical research was conducted to find the gold standard of male and female beauty? Uh, it's all about symmetry. Like one of the things we know about politics and so-called beauty in life, like nature. We're not talking about just human beings and stuff like this as human beings majority of the time we are attracted to symmetry right so there is this mindset that says in politics the person with the most symmetrical face features usually wins the election more often than not right so symmetry would be one okay I think library is a nicer alternative to bit shoot. Uh, and Anakin, Anakin, 7,000. Uh, I've been planning on going to library uh, as well, uploading to library, but I went to with SoundCloud. And I think once we stabilize on SoundCloud a little bit, I get a little, you know, get caught up on some of the stuff. I'll start uploading to library as well, right? Right now, I'm sort of maxed out. My computer had a little hiccup yesterday. Hopefully, it's not going to crash, right? My main editing software, editing computer and stuff like this. I'm running through a laptop for the live streams, but I edit videos and do a lot of stuff on a desktop, right? So right now, I'm maxed out in terms of hardware and software. Once I do a next upgrade, we'll hop on to the next platform as well. We'll load it on, continue our decentralization process, right? But thank you for the recommendation. Death420, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Wazis, Chich Akbar, what about the hypocritical stance on the death of COVID, COVID door, Dorn? Dorn, born oh COVID I read that I read David is COVID jeez death of David Dorn David Dorn stance on the death of David Dorn which one's David Dorn I don't there's so many names coming up right now uh, my apologies if I don't you know I don't associate the name to the event okay George how are you doing Jar George George Hey Chicho, hope you're having a wonderful evening. Just wrapped up my stream, so I'm gonna chill with you the rest of the evening. I start my new job tomorrow, so it's gonna be a big day. Awesome, awesome. Thank you for chilling with us, and I hope uh, you have an amazing first day at work. I hope you have an amazing first day at work, and it can be stressful, all right? So I hope you're not gonna stress out over it and stuff like this. Shave your head, trim your beard, and remove your glasses. Then you really look like a badass. I don't I, I'm not necessarily working towards looking like a badass right now right however there are times where I've functioned in society in a way where intentionally I make myself look larger and a little bit more unforgiving uh, depending on where I'm going and usually those situations were either going to different types of clubs that I've been to uh, when I was doing the club scene or parties I was going to and stuff like this. So it's a self-preservation uh, technique. But right now, I'm not interested in, well, I am interested in self-preservation, but I'm not here to, in that mindset, right? I'm just here to share information, right? And the best way to share information is to be open, get people relaxing, right? Once people relax, 
then you can feed information right lonely picky chicho how's it going what are what are you snack ah oh, my snack today is watermelon season i got watermelons this is the first watermelon i bought uh for the season it's not the best it's okay um it's not as sweet as it could be and you know what i miss watermelons with seeds actually it's pretty good so i'm eating watermelon fantastic george thank you for hosting george four i don't know um, xm4 george 4k <laughs> three x thanks for thanks for hosting brother and by the way i miss watermelons with seeds i've been looking all over trying to get watermelon with seeds the black seeds you can't find that in my area anymore it's virtually impossible i'm going to scroll down until i see uh something directed towards me okay gang that way i can uh stay up to it uh zara absolutely right i don't know how i lives without using some form of statistical software yeah you need something to be able to process data really uh, word processors are extremely important chicho was us chicho you seem to be uh in support of defunding the police forgive me if i'm wrong what is your proposal for an alternative local policing right now the amount of money going into the police forces in the united states for the last 15 years it's been insane absolutely insane police state that's what it's been going towards right and i don't i don't even think we should just defund the police you should defund the legal system period defund the prosecutors majority of people that get sent to the, sent to jail in the united states we're talking about united states specifically in the united states they they have to sign a plea deal because the prosecutor prosecutors come there they're bullies right they're bullies right they come there and they they got these things like it's it's a template right oh this person come with this bring out the template fill in the blank they print off this stack right and then they come out to people and say oh yeah you committed this crime here this is what we're going to charge you with you're going to go to jail we're going to look for the maximum right maximum penalty whatever it might be right and we're going to send you to jail forever right basically right we're going to destroy your life now you can decide to go to court and you don't have the means you're poor you got you got a uh what do you call it uh appointed lawyer that the government sent you the guy's maxed out or or or, or the females maxed out or that might be is maxed out they have no energy to put into you or you can sign this plea deal and go to jail for like five years right the prosecutor gets another notch on their belt and they work their way up the centralized ladder right it is complete insanity it is complete insanity all you have to do is look at who has been executed who has been sent to jail who has died in jail okay in the united states over the last 60 years right to realize the system is completely rigged for the corporations the private prison industry the private corporations that make money off the public prisons may it be by supplying food security um telephone the having the ability to communicate with the outside world and all this jazz right it is insanity right it is insanity why did it have to take this right is it because people were completely wired they didn't have anything better to do right and that's one of the things you have to consider what is at play here right now right a lot of people lost their jobs there's 30 40 million people that were out of a job right they're sitting at home they're not allowed to work they can't go out they can't socialize this thing happens what are they going to do going to going to peace rallies right is a form of socializing so they go okay we're going to attend all these things and then they realize oh my god this is really disgusting what the police are doing why are they saying this because they're seeing it firsthand they're going to these peace rallies right these protests these this movement and all of a sudden they might have been on the sidelines but they're seeing the police brutalize human beings their neighbors their 
people they might have been just talking to like two minutes ago in real life and all of a sudden they're going wait a second people have been telling us we live in a police state and we've been calling them conspiracy theorists for how many years now oh my god we were lied to why is it like this now they're going to start digging down right and then they realize holy cow their tax dollars are going to militarize are going towards military militarizing the police while they're defunding schools defunding hospitals defunding social work defunding programs for the general population defunding um what do you call it the green spaces it is just completely absurd right did it take have to take a pandemic a lockdown for people not to be constantly bombarded with get up at nine o'clock or whatever it is seven o'clock in the morning go to work from nine to five come home exhausted eat watch shows go to sleep do the same thing go party on the weekends get drunk so you can forget about your five uh, nine to five job during the weekdays and do the whole same thing right all of a sudden people are thinking right what's the alternative local policing completely defund the centralized state because it is a police state period okay defund it ding bobber cemetery dang one of my ears is a different shape than the other i wouldn't be winning any elections and ding bobber do you really want to run for elections i don't just localize it man join your communities chicho 77 year old man killed by looters during a protest black man by the way uh was this there's people being killed now here's a question right when george floyd got murdered and it was a murder right now we don't know the inner workings of the murder right we don't know if was there a money laundering scheme going on when george floyd and the cop were working in the same place the uh a nightclub got burnt down all this stuff happening maybe he was they cut a deal they weren't supposed to be spending money whatever it is whatever theories you have in the background it was a murder straight up murder right so this person got murdered on live tv so we know who did it we know the cops murdered this guy right now there's people being being killed during these demonstrations right we know there's a rioting going on doing these demonstrations we know there's a looting going on doing this demonstration we know that there's police brutality going on these demonstrations we know that there are agent provocateurs in these demonstrations we know that there is antifa burning you know police cars old police cars put in front of demonstrators and then certain agent provocateurs with association with antifa whoever it is coming and burning it. the kicker is the 77 year old man who killed him right do we know if we know who it is damn right find the people track them down send them to jail anybody that murders anyone man right but do we really trust the justice system to pro the way it is right now to prosecute people and that's the other thing we have to take into consideration right look at the 14 year old boy that they electrocuted in 1950s right for murder that he didn't do right look at look at um uh, jonathan magby quadriplegic they put in jail for smoking weed he suffocated george floyd suffocated took eight and a half minutes for him to suffocate right jonathan magby quadriplegic they put in jail because he was smoking cannabis right it kept him alive he went to court the judge put him in jail right he became a quadriplegic i mentioned this right quadriplegic because of a drunk driver right they put him in jail it took him three or four days to suffocate in jail right the whole thing's insanity right we can't take one one thing like right now everyone says george floyd right but it's not just george floyd it's the history of policing right it's the history of the brutality of the centralized state that is on trial right now right where is it gonna go where is it gonna go stally how are you doing hey chicho i've been a long time viewer on youtube and this is the first live stream i've been able to watch as i live in the uk and it's currently 3 44 a.m where do we go 
with our current affairs however i can afford to stay up later awesome thanks for staying up late early in the morning late at night uh and once the school season's over i'm going to be doing a little bit more live streams or a lot more live streams during the day so thank you for the support and i appreciate the love uh, that you've been around for on youtube for a long time thank you very much and thanks for popping on to a live stream right uh, by the way lost says lost by the way yeah with this beard you remind me uh trotsky or ho chi Minh. <laughs> damn now i'm hungry watermelon watermelon is so good watermelon is so good was a chicho the msn has covered it as little as possible to keep the narrative running david dorn was an ex-police oh david dorn yeah yeah he was an ex-police guy that he was just there yeah yeah i know the guy now a police officer and extremely uh an ex-paramilitary role model for the community yeah i know the guy now he was a little bit chubby unfortunate he, he got killed right but do we know who it was what was it possibly agent provocateurs do we, like really i don't i don't trust anything the mainstream media has to say and whatever's right now you have to appreciate is the fog of war right really this is by the way this is what we all need to appreciate right now right now we're in the fog of war okay from all sides i don't care which side you support or which side you don't support there's propaganda misinformation disinformation coming on right so what we need to do is not attach ourselves to one incident but put the whole package together and put it into context put it over a timeline right appreciate what has taken place and what has brought us to this point right it's not about only and i for me i know 100 percent if david dorn was part of my family it would be about david dorn right more power to those people who are who are who their family and friends are losing their lives or their health or whatever it might be because of what's taking place i don't know if i would consider it to be about the bigger picture if that was happening to me right because to them was very personal but it's the big picture right it's the big picture Ch -ch -ch. graham chicho unclear on that one seems like a timeout time them out brother graham uh right now right now to a certain degree it's uh whatever whatever you you feel like doing brother i'm so behind on the chat right now <laughs> when i see something weird i look it up okay cool uh george uh, chicho me and my dad planted 5,000 watermelon this year they grow rapidly i've uh, been blessed with plenty of rain and good soil oh dude fantastic fantastic 5,000 watermelon ah. <laughs> chicho heaven what is the difference you uh, said local policing local policing is right now the police the way is policing is being done a lot of the people the police force that are in the police force brutalizing certain neighborhoods they don't live in those neighborhoods so what we need to do is make sure that if there's any policing happening the people who are doing the policing in those neighborhoods live in those neighborhoods right people in the community know them more importantly the police know the people in the community not the people they're targeting but it's about the community right period and there's no way the police force should be militarized the way it is right now it's unforgivable right smith the man the legend how are you doing uh what was this i had uh bad experiences with police but i'm not silly enough to lump them all in one group that's exactly how racism happens um it's not lumping them all one group they are one group the police forces are basically you can associate them with a gang because that's exactly what they are they're a group of people come together under certain doctrine and license to kill people right there's there's absolutely no way right you can say that there is no problem in policing right now how many bad apples do you need in a certain institution certain corporation before you say hey that thing is insanity right 
Huckleberry, cops in Cleveland tear gas and pepper sprayed peaceful protesters unprovoked last Saturday. I got hit. It sucked. Oh, I'm sorry you got hit, brother. Huckleberry is mentioning that. Yeah, look, police, the police forces, we're not talking about individual. When you, when you say the U.S. military, you might have soldiers that are phenomenal human beings and i'm pretty sure the majority of soldiers in the u.s military are phenomenal human beings right but they represent the united states military and if you don't know what the u.s military has done over the last few decades uh you i don't know where you've been right you must have just arrived on earth okay weasel beast 2020 good evening chicho and you're speaking my language right now so many people have had their routines turned upside down and have actually seen the stupidity it's an interesting time it's interesting time and a very important time very important time cool uh, steve jokes what's your thoughts on i don't know who that i don't know who that is sorry i'm gonna scroll down gang until i see uh my name my point okay was this we'll continue this david dorn thing but and then after this we move on from this right chicho my point with david dorn is he was a black man who died as a result of another black man's death and the two are treated completely biased they don't want you to know david dorn adorn's name um here's the thing was this okay there's black police officers who are have brutalized and are brutalizing blacks whites asian whatever it might be right right now the mainstream media the central powers certain different organizations want to make this a race issue this is not a race issue okay in large part this is a policing issue this is a centralized government issue this is about history this is about slavery this is about brutalization of a centralized state this is about certain institutions certain organizations certain people with certain mindsets infiltrating the centralized powers and doing whatever it is they want to do okay to brutalize whatever sub class of society they want to brutalize right do you want to call that a race issue there's racism up the yin yang in the united states in canada in europe in all over the right all over the world okay all over the world there's racism right so there isn't any place that you can escape racism racism is is something that centralized power centralized authority in certain institutions have been feeding right really okay they've been feeding it do you think the mainstream media gives a rat's ass about racism where were they when jonathan magby was suffocating in jail okay if you think this is about racism look into the kids for cash scam that was happening in uh, which state was it uh, I forget which state it was two judges were being paid off by a private prison institution okay to send kids white black brown Asian doesn't make a difference most of them were actually white from what I understand right over a matter of five years or a few years, ten years whatever it was six seven years right they sent these two judges sent 5,000 okay if I have my numbers right look it up around 5,000 kids to juvie prison why were they doing it because the private prison was given them five thousand dollars a pop okay was that about racism no that was about money okay that was about two judges disgusting greedy human beings that destroyed the lives of tens of tens of thousands of people right because it's not about the five thousand kids they sent to jail they affected the whole family right not just the immediate family the family they were living with but their relatives right one kid one person how many people in your family not just your mother father siblings if you have them cousins grandparents and all that jazz right 
one kid gets to sent to jail their lives is totally ruined okay totally turned upside down and the the cost to society is insane and these judges were doing it for five thousand bucks a pop right what insanity right is this a race war they're trying to make it a race war but this is not a race war this is about centralized power feeding off the masses right they're poison they're cancer okay ding bother chicho do you know about how amazon is working with police giving alexa footage and pictures to police to investigate yeah i i, I know people that have alexa in their homes insanity why right i have i have a on my computer laptop i have a painter's tape on my camera right the technocrats they are using it for facial recognition for protesters yeah when i was attending protests by the way here i'll link this up again i think it's still there this is a video i put out in 2007 right saying why it's important to go to peace rallies okay during that time when i was going to peace rallies and i started going to peace rallies like early 2000s right uh, early uh, uh 1990s right with so the first gulf war in in the early 2000s with afghanistan when i was protesting the war in afghanistan you had police taking pictures of us right so that's been around it's just been optimized through the technocrats through silicon valley right i'm gonna scroll down until i see my name george floyd and his murderers work together as security not same shift but how much more communal can we get uh how much more communal uh, way more communal right why is there why is there a military hardware u.s military hardware right being given to local policing why that's centralization right okay gang i'm going down dark ruler whiz speaking of what the u.s army has done what was the book you talked about a while ago written by the general about how the army operates it's called um, war is a racket by general smedley butler okay war is a racket by general smedley butler and i did a reading on it chicho war is a racket and it's available for free online okay like really it's available for free online and i did a reading on it and i linked it up with mathematics asmr math right here's the link to the video it's just a nice soft spoken reading okay uh but in the description of this video you'll see the link to the book that you can read online for free okay um i hope that helps and it's an important book okay lord lord da uh, lord i'm gonna call you lord lord chicho i want to ask you something ask away brother but make sure you put chicho in it so i see it okay i know it's not but everyone is saying it is about race is literally what they are fighting about it's about it's 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 in the umbrella of race because racism is involved in it right look at the history of policing policing has always been used by centralized power to control the masses to brutalize the masses period right so that is the case okay if you look at human history who was policing uh who who were the police forces in human history brutalizing well I don't know in the roman times they were brutalizing what the jews in during the ottoman empire they were brutalizing the armenians right uh in the united states the polices police forces basically came about because they were hunting down slaves they were trying to control the slaves and stuff like that it really depends right in the united states for sure there's a race element in it 100 percent but it's not just the police's police forces is racist so is the judiciary so is so is the prosecutors right it's not just the police forces that have been racial profiling blacks and brutalizing them right the courts have been doing the same 
the prosecutors have been doing the same, right? Look at the statistics as to blacks, how, how much more likely they are to be sent to jail for the same crimes as a white person committing the thing. And it's across every state, right? I looked at this data back in the early 2000s. In some states, a black person was 10 times more likely to be sent to jail than a white person for the, the same crime, right? How's that possible, right? How's that possible? I, you know the answer, of course, is racism. It's, it's targeting a certain group, right? 10 victim. I'm just going to call you victim, brother. I can't even, it's all capitalized. It's very hard to read. But victim says it's always about money, not racism. Same with COVID. Hospitals let people die because they got tons of money for it. Ch -ch -ch. I'm going to scroll down, gang. I'm scrolling down, scrolling down. My, f my fiance worked, worked and asked, what's Chow Chow talking about? <laughs> Walked in, <laughs> Zara says. My fiance walked in uh, and asked, "What's Chow Chow talking about?" Nice, hilarious, funny, funny, funny. Okay, I'm all the way down to the bottom, gang. I'm just going all the way down. There's a lot of chat I missed, but I didn't see anything directed towards me. If there was, please post it again, and I'll read it. Okay, Lord, Chicho. Why do you not talk about what happened in Iraq when America went there? Nobody talks about uh, talks about us. Uh, so many kids died, and you destroyed Iraq, and now you talk about humanity. Lord, or brother, or sister, I've written about Iraq. I've talked about Iraq. I went to the demonstrations regarding the Iraq War in the early 2000s, and even in the early 1990s during the first Gulf War, right? I've talked about this a lot. Apologies if it hasn't come up recently, but basically what's happening in the United States with the police forces, right? Brutalizing American citizens. Well, guess what? The military was doing that in Iraq, brutalizing Iraqis, right? Guess what? Canadian government sent RCMP officers Canadian Royal Mounted Police to Afghanistan and Iraq to train, collaborators to brutalize their own citizens, right? So yeah, 100%. Basically what's going on in the United States is US foreign policy coming home to roost, right? What you reap is what you sow or what you sow is what you reap is what's the saying, right? I've been mentioning this forever. What matters, what will make or break the United States of America is U.S. foreign policy. It's not U.S. domestic policy. What you're seeing happen in the United States right now is U.S. foreign policy coming to the United States. How do you like it? All right. My question to citizens of the United States is, how do you like U.S. foreign policy being implemented on your own territory? How do you like U.S. foreign policy, the way they treat peoples from other nations? How do you like them treating you the same way? Does it feel good? Hell no, it doesn't. Now, just imagine they're holding back in the United States. They never held back in Iraq or Afghanistan or Syria or South America or Africa. They don't hold back in those countries. They go around shooting up right they torture people we know about this abu Ghraib. right look at guantanamo bay look at um all the black sites look at the rendition flights right this is u.s foreign policy coming to the united states period okay ta 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 technic uh papa lag lag you're right on one hand but also why did saddam saddam genocide the kurds of northern iraq because he was given the okay by the u.s government and supplied the weapons by the u.s government right saddam was a puppet saddam's regime was put into place in the 1960s by the cia to brutalize their own people 
to brutalize the Iraqis. Why? To control the oil. Okay. Weekend at Barney's. How are you doing? Chicho, I had a clash with a um, acquaintance calling me racist supporter because I myself choose to stay indoors and the safety of my home instead of going outside, putting myself in harm to support what I consider is chaos outside. Then your uh, acquaintance must be new, I'm guessing, to what's going on in the world, right? Because what's happening right now, one of the reasons we're seeing this explosion happen right now is people are just waking up. Whenever people realize they've been duped, whenever people realize that, oh my God, the world is not what it seems, and uh, what, right? There's a adrenaline that rushes in, right? And they, there's anger, frustration, and then they start pointing fingers, and they feel self-righteous and just. And trust me, I felt it, right? I've gone through it right but i went through it way way back in the day right i it's just what it was that's that's that was my life i got exposed to it early right so if they're calling you racist because you're not going out there demonstrating they're idiots right ask them did they go out and demonstrate during the iraq war when the united states was going to invade iraq afghanistan what about when obama started bombing the crap out of syria started giving support for them to um start killing thousands of people in yemen did they go out and protest when the united states with their nato allies annihilated libya did they do that were they protesting when every time every weekend or every friday whenever it happens or every day right when they're selling black men and women and children in the slave markets slave markets in libya thanks to the democrats that annihilated it right did they do that right so no one bible says man do you the only person that has the right to throw the first stone is the person that is guilt-free and there's no one guilt-free right so all these people that are waking up right now to the injustices of the united states what's taking place in the united states they're not even waking up to the injustices that the united states has dealt out the u.s military has dealt out to the rest of the world for the pre for the previous what how many decades right they're just waking up to this now more power to them really i'm not trash talking anyone more power to you you woke up right but you better make sure you're not being distracted right and starting a fight with your allies instead of keeping your eyes on the prize who's your enemy well if you don't know yet it's not just the policing policing is their enforcers who is your enemy ask yourself who is your enemy uh, who's your enemy think about it right it's not your neighbor it's definitely not your neighbor last you cho I ate it Ch -ch. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down, guy. Drang it, Chicho agreed. I am, I'm an infantry veteran and did the whole police state thing for a couple of years in Iraq. What people are protesting the New York Police Department uh, for was what we did every day. Yeah, and harsher, Dragon, harsher. Some of the stuff that I was following when I was writing my blog in the mid 2000s about what, what the u.s military and what the canadian military what the british military what the all these militaries nato allies were doing in iraq and afghanistan and what they started in yemen and what they were doing in libya man horrendous lag so you justify the genocide and ethnic cleansing of kurds the what <laughs> where'd you get that from <laughs> like, no i don't justify it what are you kidding me that were there before Arabs what who says that right the Arabs came last in Iraq first it was Assyrian then Kurds then Arabs you justify genocide as a, what are you talking about who's justifying genocide are you kidding me by the way you forgot about the Armenians there's a lot of Armenians in Iraq as well in Babylon right we were there too right the Kurds by the way 
Kurds helped the Ottoman Empire commit genocide on the Armenians, right? Did you forget about that? But no one should be genocided upon. The Kurds have a right to live. I have Turkish, uh, Kurdish friends that in the mid-2000s, right, I mentioned to her, one of them, right, I said, listen, if Kurds play their cards right, right, they might actually get an autonomous state. Guess what? The Kurds allied themselves with the United States and Israel, and they turned on Assad. Okay, what a horrendous mistake. What a horrendous mistake. Okay, and yeah, a lot of Kurds have been being, being brutalized. Saddam Hussein dropped gas, okay, on Kurds. The gas supplied to them by the United States. The same gas they used on Iranians during the Iran-Iraq war, right? Saddam Hussein, you have to appreciate it. Saddam Hussein was a CIA puppet. He got his marching orders from the United States of America. He didn't do anything, okay, that the United States of America did not authorize, including invading Kuwait in the early 1990s. He told the United States that he was going to go into Kuwait. The United States says, it's your business. And then when he went in, he made the deal with the devil. He didn't realize what was going to happen, right? Chicho, what, what you said about Saddam is 100%. 100%. Make cows not war. Make cows not war says the best time to get gas by cops was two, 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Was wow, is pretty Chicho. Da, 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 da. I'm scrolling down, gang. The chat is coming pretty fast right now. So, uh, dark hooky chicho, how are you, my man? Doing good, eating watermelon and letting loose, brother, as much as I can. Lord chicho, the ISIS is made by CIA. ISIS is 100% funded, supported, armed by the CIA. 100%. The Democrats said so, even the lying warmongering mass murdering hillary clinton said we fund isis okay period okay chicho to show the world that islam is bad and they made islamophobia ding bobber chicho sometimes i forget just how extensive the atrocities on this planet are like you said earlier until you see it in real life it seems distant almost unreal i heard that a few images that surfaced from the vietnam war went a long way in ending that war i pray that these recent events do something similar ending pre police brutality etc too bad the media will likely prevent that from happening yeah ding bobber facts truth right is the only thing that matters right that's why wikileaks is one of the most important platforms institutions journalistic institutions in the world that's why julian assange matters so much right truth will set us free right and that's what wikileaks has been involved in since its inception right that's what it was created to do right to hold power accountable to provide transparency of power for the citizens right and what is power doing right now what is capital doing right now trying to annihilate its founder crucifying its founder and annihilate wikileaks right we have to fight towards that right we have to fight towards saving wikileaks and preventing julian assange from being extradited to the united states of america right because it's it's crazy it's crucifixion crucifixion crucifying someone right for revealing the truth and you're 100 percent correct because visuals images change everything right that is why during bush jr's regime they uh passed a law preventing 
media from showing American coffins coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan, right? When was the last time you saw a plane coming down and American coffins coming out, right? They banned it. They prevented the media from taking pictures of this. Why? Because they need to control the masses, right? What did mainstream media, corporate propagandists do? They abide it by their master's will, right? Dark hooky, Chicho, do you believe brutality is something that is baked into human nature? No, I do not. Okay. I believe empathy is baked into human nature. Okay. Technique, Chicho, what do you think of Candace Owens' video about the protest? I don't know Candace Owens. I'm sorry. I might know them. I just don't know names. I'm, but by the way, gang, look. I'm bad with names when you guys are dropping names unless they've been really part of my psyche for a long time it's difficult here I'll show you this just so you know right here are names right kids for cash this is my crappy writing right I put this on here and I've had this on here for the last uh, I put this on here because of uh, the when we did a couple of uh, streams on the last set that we did we're talking about the protests and George Floyd and stuff like this I'm bad with names right there's a reason I can communicate and teach mathematics to a lot of different people from a lot of different backgrounds that are on the spectrum right because I can relate to them now take that whichever way you want okay but I have the ability to communicate people in a certain way where I don't I'm not talking to them as if I'm a part of some kind of institution. I'm talking to them as a human being. And because I try to accumulate as much information as possible, connect as many dots as possible, and take a look at the big picture, I'm not interested in the noise, right? I apologize if this hurts people, right? Where they say, hey, this is a noise. This person died. I realize that. But you also have to appreciate Madeleine Albright. I know that name because I tend to remember certain war criminals, right? Madeleine Albright in the late 1990s, when asked that 500,000 Iraqi children died because of the sanctions that the United States put on Iraq in the 1990s, and Madeleine Albright said, she thought the price was worth it right really appreciate that and this was because of sanctions only right five hundred thousand iraqi children we should remember all those names but we can't as human beings we have to remember the incident right we have to remember the war criminals that did this right put everything into context right and realize that what is happening right now is a bigger picture is a bigger plan that has been rolling out for a number of years number of decades right once you do that you know your enemy you know your enemy okay lord chicho what do you think about world war three i think we are in world war three okay like mr chicho don't forget about the greeks genocided along with you armenians by the uh, by the uh, by the turks huge anti-christian crimes uh may their souls rest in peace and find justice in this world agreed with you lag 100 percent. and by the way apologies if i came across as the way you thought that i didn't care about kurds being genocide being committed on the kurds no i care but we have to put it all into context and appreciate that a lot of different peoples have been genocided on and it's not these people that are committing genocide on these people it is centralized power it is wall street it is the bankers right it is the propagandists that are committing the genocide okay that's who they are right that's what we must understand Weekend at Barney's. Chicho, let me ask you something over C19, COVID-19. With Quebec having the highest active cases at the moment, but Toronto, Ontario having the most daily new cases, it comes to the attention of the government decision of reopening Quebec, but extending lockdowns in Ontario. Do you think 
is the right decision. Um, I don't trust the centralized power when they're doing all this, right? My take is this. We need, as a people, as a population, be aware of what's taking place, right? And the only way we can be aware of what's taking place is if we can make sure that all the platforms, all the different ways that we can share information are open, right? So we have to, we have to adamantly fight against censorship. Because if we prevent censorship from taking hold in our societies, and if we trust that as human beings, we are intelligent enough to make intelligent decisions, right? Then we don't need centralized power to tell us if, when we can leave our houses and when we can't leave our houses and all that jazz, because their information is readily available to everyone to make their own decisions. One of the reasons the centralized power has so much so much that they can do to us individually as a community is because they censor information they prevent the free flow of information okay so right now the difference between what quebec is doing what ontario is doing what bc is doing what alberta is doing all this jazz is because people are uninformed right certain people are making not the best decisions in the world right it's up to them if they want to do that that's the way I see it, right? So that's my take on the whole situation. Okay. Sam hit hey Chicho got to watch History 101 on Netflix. The episode called Oil in the Middle East. Yeah. Sam, I know a lot about it. Remember, I was educated as a geophysicist. I worked as a geophysicist in the 1990s, right? I know my history from the Middle East because I am from there originally. I know a lot of people from that area, right? I paid attention uh, so yeah how the house of Saud was put into power right what the house of Saud did, did to the other factions when they were put into power once they got power they annihilated they committed genocide on the other houses some of the other houses right they're enforcers so they could maintain their power right please watch the Candace Owens link it up uh, was this if you want by the way I'll, I'll mention this to everyone if you want me to check out something and i i don't guarantee that i can check out everything right but it's about sharing information right and there's a lot of people on our discord page right so if you want people to check things out and if you're not just spamming and you want to participate in the discussion we do have a discord page link up what you think is important in our discord page we will not censor unless you're spamming unless you're intentionally you know doing insanity right there's there's only there's only i think or you're a bot or something like this right so our mods are amazing on this course so share information on our discord page you'll find it in the description of this video when it's loaded on bitshoot and uh, youtube you'll find it in our twitch channel way at the bottom and you can come on to our twitch page and do discord exclamation mark discord cord anytime and the link will pop up and you can click on the link and do go to our discord page okay share information this is about sharing information right if the if centralized power wants to implement sensors in our society right prevent us from talking I'm gonna do my best to make sure we keep on talking. Okay, Ding Bubber. I have heard it said that the lesser demons have to abide by the higher demons. Uh, demons will because if they don't, the consequences will be severe. Applying this religious view of demons to the hierarchy of power in the state is easy. She showed, agreed. And if you wanna, if you wanna know one of the greatest books ever regarding this read cs lewis's screw tape letters okay this is lesser demons having to answer to the higher demons for their job right the lesser demons had to corrupt the human beings right so read right read the screw tape letters by cs lewis important book it's not a big read, but it's beautiful, beautiful book. Okay. 
read the screw tape letters. Important book. Okay, gang, I missed a lot of chat. I'm going to scroll down until I see Chicho uh, or Chicho live, I guess. Chicho, what are the principles for avoiding the noise? Uh, you got to know mathematics. You have to understand economics. You have to understand that there is no two party system in the United States. If we're talking about the United States, there's only one party. It's the corporate party. It's Wall Street party. Really appreciate how Wall Street works, how DC works. Okay. Really appreciate how Hollywood works appreciate that united states is run by monopolies okay the other thing you need to do is understand your history take a look at history not history they teach you in high school right once you come out of high school you have to do minimum of two years of research on your on your own minimum read books right to really appreciate what's going on and you have to read books okay one of the books you should be reading is this book days of destruction days of revolt by chris hedges and joe Sacco. okay and really appreciate what sacrifice zones means sacrifice zones okay keep that in mind sacrifice zones read this book days of destruction days of revolt they wrote this book and then we've talked about this i've read parts of it i don't know when this book came out this book came out this decade um, and it basically outlined what was coming what was about to happen right this book was came out in um, 2012 okay so this book came out in 2012 i read it i think in 2013 uh, and it basically outlines what was coming right now right so it laid out the foundation of why we're seeing what we're seeing okay important book so it's important to read books and it's really important to turn off mainstream propagandists like really don't don't watch cnn nbc uh, b uh pbs uh bbc uh guardian don't read that crap you're wasting your time right find dedicated journalist uh, and people who are interested in certain topics that are sharing information independent media okay seek them out it's a long journey by the way it's not a short journey and start connecting the the links once you start connecting things up that you realize this is connected to this it's connected to this what right and once you do that you see the big picture and a huge chunk of all that stuff is linked up to the our current centralized education system which is absolutely about indoctrination right so learn that understand what that means if you have come through the centralized education system education system appreciate that you've come through a centralized indoctrination center right that means you're not a free human being free thinking human being you have to get that back right and it's going to take time it's going to take time learn english well learn mathematics well read books such as days of destruction okay i'm gonna scroll down gang there's a lot of chat here like no sir was having a dialogue with lord medfire oh that's who we're talking to uh, i wasn't replying to you regarding the kurds i really like you and i love your stream in an uh in an old viewer uh rediscovered you again today awesome okay thanks like i i i thought you were talking to me i was like what what no what i say okay gang i'm scrolling down uh, where are you from originally i was born in iran Armenian ancestry, but I came to Canada when I was like this this tall, really young, right? So I'm West Coast Canadian mentality, right? With Armenian ancestry and Iranian heritage to a certain degree, and Armenian heritage and Canadian heritage. I'm a mishmash, right? I ate a lot of Armenian and Iranian food and Canadian food as well. 
Bob Ross of war, your name caught me. We need to disband the Federal Reserve again. John Adams style. We need to disband the Federal Reserve. Agreed 100%. Okay, thanks, Waz. It's posted there on Discord. Perps, no, not this case. Ch -ch -ch. Okay, I'm scrolling down until I see uh, anything directed towards me, gang. Okay. Da 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 wow lots of discussion taking place eh cool Graham good question from death 420 death 420 what do you use for news media chicho oof I have so many brother I have um uh, I need to do an update okay I need to do an update death 420 can you post just a comment if you're on discord or Graham or someone on discord just say chicho do an update on your news sources okay i've put out videos before on my news sources one of the videos youtube took down <laughs> one of the first videos we did we did a live stream where i went through and we i was sharing my sources of information right and youtube took that down and i contested it and then they put it back up again right because i had news sources both from the extreme left and the extreme right because you need to see both perspectives you need to see both perspectives right to be able to make sense of things if you're only getting your news thank you Graham. you put it on this course if you're only getting your news from left-leaning sites left-leaning journalists or activists you're living in a bubble you have to get your news from the right as well you need, you need to get your news from center as well you need to get your news from people who don't consider themselves to be right or left which is me one of the people right i don't i don't i don't consider myself to be left or right i consider myself to be a human being that gives a rat's ass about freedom right that has feels empathy towards not only my fellow human beings but a about other creatures the environment right like it, environment like people talk about it like for <laughs> for me when i was studying geophysics in the late 1980s early 1990s when i got my job as a geophysicist in a more large multinational corporation there were this person that i had worked for during my co-op term right he he found me i've told the story before but I, I won't bother saying it again but he found he hooked up with me when i just graduated and he said oh chicho oh my god i found you i just started working with this multinational corporation that has offices all around the world and he was starting a geophysics department there but an environmental geophysics department so he hired me right away he knew what i could do right he worked with me he trained me in large part right and then when i was getting my business card the human resource people said oh what do you want on your business card i said oh my name pop up pop up and environmental geophysicist and they went what no you just want geophysicist i go no i want to say environmental geophysicist and they were like well that'll limit your ability to do work i said exactly i want to focus on environmental geophysics as far as i know i was the first geophysicist in canada to have on their business card written environmental geophysicist so for us to really understand what is going on we can't live in a bubble we have to have empathy that means empathy towards people we disagree with empathy towards people who think we're dinglings who have completely different perspectives than us we have to have empathy towards other creatures we have to have empathy towards the environment we have to appreciate what it is that we are doing in this world okay keep that in mind like you know I'm, I'm going all over the place with this but I want to make sure that because there's a lot of people living in bubbles right now right they think like for example Ding Bobber said their acquaintances are telling him he's racist because he's not joining their protest I'm like they're idiots right I remember one time i got into a discussion with a greenpeace activist right she was on the streets of vancouver saying join greenpeace give us money and stuff like this and she approached me and she was blocking me from walking and i said look man what are you saying and she turned to me and says this is the most important thing you can do in your life 
I go, excuse me? This is the most important thing I can do in my life? No. As far as I'm concerned, the most important thing we can do in our lives right now is end the war on drugs, right? Period. Legalize cannabis and everything else. And she's like, what? I go, I think you're living in a bubble, right? You think Greenpeace is all that? You, you're turning around and telling people this is the most important thing you can do in your life? I go, you're a fanatic, right? There are multiple fronts right now on the war of humanity to free itself from centralized power okay no one has the right to tell anyone else that their front line is the most important front line okay period know your enemy your enemy is not the person that is not joining you in your battle your enemy is the person that you are fighting against right because those people that are not joining your front they may be doing things on the other side right that you don't know about your enemy is not your neighbor your enemy is not other human beings your enemy is centralized power okay jacoby how are you doing welcome welcome this is why i'm vegan caring for all species on earth spider-man dark chicho no heat to this question who should take over the superpower role from the u.s no one okay i get the u.s has flaws but i'm not sure the world would be better with any other country in charge at the moment i agree with you i don't think any country should be in charge i think we should be in charge human beings should be in charge you me regular joe blows right and we are we need to be our role should be stewards of this earth right we don't own this land we don't own other species we are living on this planet and we should be living in harmony with everything else right we're two followers away from three thousand ah nice jacoby uh, we're on three grand nice 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 chicho i mentioned chris hedges in an earlier comment i was hoping you you had some thoughts chris hedges i like i don't agree with everything chris hedges has to say don't get me wrong i've read a lot of chris hedges i've listened to a lot of chris hedges uh, days of destruction days of revolt the book that i showed is chris hedges i like chris hedges but i still don't agree with everything chris hedges has to say okay and i'm pretty sure chris hedges doesn't agree with everything i have to say okay but i highly recommend read chris hedges everyone some thoughts on chuck plank's fight club nice great book i haven't actually I haven't read the book great movie <laughs> i'd like it you have a very nice voice thank you holiday hunter even when i'm going hardcore right i'm scrolling now graham chicho i have a question i've been getting deep into data uh, hoarding data hoarding is when people have fear that there is da there's data that will have will have access taken away from them which it does every day we lose tons of documents books videos every minute of of the day and data hoarders are per, uh, preserve assist do you believe in data preservation in the modern world Graham, 100 percent archive.org is an amazing website and if you're archiving things on an external hard drive just your own space 100 more power to you i can't tell you how many websites articles videos that i have seen over the last 30 years that i've been online i was online from late 1980s early 1990s that are no longer available and some of the information during that period was absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant it laid out a lot of things that we're seeing rolled being rolled out right now right so Graham, 100 percent. if you have the means the capacity archive 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 ideally at some point when you have the ability and the funds share those archives put that stuff out okay 100 percent was a shisho 
What do you think about the coincidence that Black Lives Matter is trending in just before the elections? Last time it trended was just before 2000. Look, there's a lot of manipulation going on. And who's trending it? Is Twitter trending it? Do you believe the Twitter trends? I don't, fo I don't follow Twitter trends. I don't follow YouTube trends. I don't go to front pages of Reddit, YouTube, Twitter. I don't do that. I follow individuals, right? Man, the last time I used... Like it, I've been on Reddit from almost day one when they came online, like a year later or something like this, right? I don't know how long I've been there, 13 years now? To, I don't know what my badge says, right? But I don't use it as much anymore, not not even close. I, there are days I don't even go there, right? The, like ridiculous, right? I don't, I stopped going to front page of letter, Reddit when they stopped doing the counts for up and down counts, and that was like eight years ago, right? It's totally controlled, right? Don't go to the front pages of any of the major platforms from Silicon Valley. If you are, might as well watch CNN or Fox. What are you doing? You're indoctrinating yourself? That's what you want to do? Surf the front pages of technocrats? God dang. <laughs> You're not a free human being. You're just a noise collector, right? Darth Dart Hookie. Should I be pronouncing that Darth Hooky? Darth Hooky? Chicho, I don't always agree with you, but I love how you present your views. So glad I came across your content. Awesome. Hype, 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 hype. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Or sister, of course, right? Or sister, of course. I'm scrolling down, gangs. Graham. Chicho, because I'm an educator, I'm building an archive AI system called Velma stands for virtual Exper experiential learning library and media archive which is meant to assist in educational research we talk about it on stream a lot but i hope to make it available someday oh grant fantastic man more power to you brother seriously more power to you right more power to you like for me i have external hard drives all over the place that have archived stuff at maybe in my retirement if i reach to be you know still healthy and functional and i can read with gigantic glasses and i'm still online streaming hopefully when i'm 90 plus i'll go through those external hard drives and slowly start sharing information right maybe 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 m1k have any of your news sources updated since you posted the video detailing your main source? yeah for sure there there's a lot of them i don't go to there's some that i go to still a, a lot that i go to still i've added some in there as well right so i do need to update it right uh, but it's basically a starting point uh, when i shared that information right just do not forget ba -ba 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 -ba. magus how are you doing chicho i heard it uh, phrase once that if you want to say the f word on tv you have to go submit your a reasoning and payment to the fcc if you want to change the mindset of an entire generation you start a business with six guys in a garage in silicon valley possibly right but then they get co-opted and they sell out to wall street and then they become the propagandists right technique chicho do you think the stock market is in a bubble and will crash soon or do you think it will continue to rise uh technique right now they injected a few trillion dollars they gave a few trillion dollars to their own boys to launder through wall street right last time they did this was in 2008 with bush jr starting it and an obama filling it right he put it put his old administration wall street executives the people who pulled the scam in power right so they filtered a few trillion dollars for in the last 12 years right through wall street okay they just injected a few trillion more right is it going to play out in the long game i don't know right what was holding the stock market up absolutely nothing it's just laundering money right can they launder it beyond 30,000 go to 35,000 right can they can they push it to 35,000 I can tell you this if I was interested in the Wall Street game 
I would not be holding anything long term. If I was interested in the Wall Street game, I would just be a trader in and out, sometimes daily. Derivatives only, puts and calls, right? Do not put your eggs in the Wall Street basket. They are not there to give you security. Even if the stock market rises 100%, right? In the long run, if you consider everything, you've done more damage to your lifestyle, to your freedom, than you have gained, right? Chicho, if you want him to see your message better. Yeah, if you guys want to want me to see your message, just put at Chicho Live. That way it highlights it for me. Stolt Meister, thank you very much for the tier one sub. By the way, gang, thank you for the follows thank you for the subs apologies if i'm not you know mentioning it but i'm going trying to stay up to up to date with the chat and interact uh with chat as much as possible okay and for those who are watching this on bitshoot and youtube thank you for subscribing if you are subscribing if you're on soundcloud i'm glad you're enjoying the audio right what are views or antifa oh antifa is a funny thing i think it's been infiltrated i think it's cia operation personally for the most part right any organization that commits violence in a level and takes pride in committing that violence is off my books i don't interact with them right and i i had people wanting me to join antifa back in the mid 2000s when i was demonstrating i said no man i'm not into the violent game right that's playing into the hands of centralized power and if the violence game is playing into the hands of centralized power, then maybe centralized power planted the seed for that to occur, right? They're like agent provocateurs. Robinson Bailey, hey Chicho, sorry to interrupt, however, wishing you well. Hi, chat. Thank you very much, Robertson Bailey. And well wishes to you guys as well. Banan Stain. Yoo-hoo, first time watching live. I have a math student from Norway specializing in mathematics and infor informatics. Love the math content and all of the thoughts around different subjects. Watch every stream uploaded on YouTube. Cheers, 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 Norway. Thank you very much for the love and joining us on this live stream. And thank you for watching the videos. And mathematics, right on, right, right on. Antifa uh, Graham is Antifa an organization? No, it's an umbrella that people function like it's anonymous, right? However, Antifa has a certain agenda, right? Or whoever's the people that decide to fly under that umbrella, and violence is on the table for them. For me, no, right? Nine violence is necessary. Oof, I'm down to the bottom of chat. Nice, nice, nice. Like, I don't need to be passive aggressive. Why would I? Okay, you're talking to someone else. Okay, good, good, good. I'm glad there's a lot of discussion taking place, gang. Uh, so I'm glad uh, everyone's talking because that's the purpose of this uh, stream. One of the purposes, anyway. Firestone 9 Chicho. I was in the military and have got PTSD since I got home. My wife been blaming everything on me. What should I do? Uh, Firestone, you need to talk to someone, right? So first thing you need to do is make sure you're seeking help where you need to. Um, I, you know, take whatever I say with a grain of salt, right? Uh, do not bombard yourself with pharmaceuticals if you can help it okay so make sure you're talking it out make sure uh whatever happened and whatever is happening you are 100 percent open with your partner with your wife as to what took place and how you're dealing with it okay um make sure that you realize what role you played and what the game was that's really important and i think the one thing you need to do uh, is contribute back into society right own what happened okay and what has brought you to this point realize that it's it's not on you 
you were used and abused you were lied to right okay so don't carry that guilt with you but try to do good by it okay try to take that energy and make it work in a positive light in your life right we've all made mistakes we've many of us have done many wrong things but once we accept it forgive ourselves and realize and really take on uh, the responsibility not to do it again okay and to contribute in a positive light i think that's when we start coming out of the hole that's my take on it and this is coming from someone who's never gone to war who um you know i haven't been there so but i can appreciate um, what can take place <laughs> people are like what what's going on Bastein, love the 10 by 10 math game i have gotten 295 so far by myself i'm set out to get 100 within the summer maybe a little hopeful but i'm at least gonna try awesome awesome break it up into the quadrant the four quadrant uh the 10 by 10 i agree i think it's about time to come up with a new game the 10 by 10 maybe maybe Is it that Chicho Jacoby? Uh, Chicho, since your Dune wreck was so awesome, uh, got any other great book recommendations for me? I've been watching, uh, catching up on a bunch of books in quarantine. Eager, uh, you know what? If you like uh, science, fan, more fantasy related, right? If you like fantasy, because Dune was science fiction, full on science fiction, right? If you like fantasy, and some people that like science fiction don't like fantasy some people that like fantasy don't like science fiction a lot of people love both worlds right i would recommend the death gate cycle it's seven books the death gate cycle is absolutely phenomenal it's epic okay really good the death gate cycle i don't have it here in this bookshelf it's on the my science fiction and fantasy bookshelf so it's there uh, baby bear chicho hey chicho do you have thoughts around the sources of wealth obsession in north america why are the poor not able to uh, unite as one is propaganda that overpower yeah propaganda is crazy overpowering uh it's the education education system i keep on calling it education system because i don't think people really appreciate that it's really an indoctrination system right so our centralized indoctrination centers pit each other against each other or pit us against each other right they lift up power as if that's what people should be achieving for right they say they put people in, that have a lot of wealth in positions of power they put a lot of people that have a lot of wealth as role models for people to look up to which is insanity right so yes the reason that this happens is because the the what do you call it the saying uh the best way to control a population is divide and conquer right which is basically the method that has been going on for a long long time right push play okay people are talking to each other that's good jacoby chicho thanks um we'll definitely read it read into it and try to order the first couple couple from amazon i've got the piece out um, now been, been awake all night and it's now 8 a.m uh, thanks for the stream brother and i'll catch you um the next one for sure awesome jacoby i hope you have a well if you're up at a.m i hope you're gonna to go to sleep if not i hope you have a fantastic day okay manenstein chicho have you read quantum by manjit kamar uh, was the book that got me into physics always loved math but never had uh 
too much of a thought around physics but was in uh interesting learning about the background on the quantum um i don't know that book i don't know that book sam it says x-man is where is that x-man is fantastic depending on the writers graham looks like you're busy thanks for taking care of business brother uh my mother chicho so robinson bailey my uh, chicho my mother and maternal grandfather very recently passed oh i'm sorry to hear that i don't want to attend the funerals i have a panic attack i have panic attacks especially now i've expressed to my family that i feel overwhelmed should i feel good no you should not feel guilty and secondly if i feel pressure by my family is it okay to say i can't attend the funeral yes it is right now really think about it uh robertson now i'm not saying you should or you shouldn't attend the funeral right but to me attending funerals is way more important than attending weddings okay so on a caliber i would say way more right so but that's sort of my old school mindset that a funeral is the last step that people take and you you know you show your respect and your empathy and it's bonding moment as well as weddings and stuff like this right but if you think you might have panic attacks on like and whatnot it's totally fine like i've had a, one of my best friends ever right now we're not in touch anymore he he told me straight out when my brother passed away he mentioned that he he wouldn't come to the wet uh, he couldn't he couldn't come to the funeral because he does not attend funerals okay and i didn't hold it against them whatsoever okay so if anyone holds that against you maybe they'll rethink their belief system in the future however for me i'm very happy that i have attended all the funerals that i have attended because that gives me a perspective on life that i wouldn't have had if i didn't attend those funerals okay uh, just giving you my take on it but guilty no however make sure you're not going to regret not attending the funerals later in your life right if later in your life you look back at this and say oh i didn't attend the funeral i wish i had attended don't carry the guilt with you okay appreciate that at this moment you just couldn't attend the funeral it was too much right so keep that in mind okay Ch -ch -ch -ch. weasel beast 2020 funerals are for uh, for the living not the dead how you feel about that person internally is far more important than other people's opinion 100 percent weasel beast agreed agreed Ch -ch -ch. graham blah, blah, blah. i mean i still don't really and what uh, clitus has to say doesn't really tell me much Ch -ch. what's your favorite book what's my favorite book Oof. Uh, i can't answer that uh, there's so many different genres there's and so many different books that i love from certain genres i love books right oh my pleasure uh robertson bailey says thank you for your understanding chicho my pleasure my pleasure and and i understand because i've been in those situations and i had people that have been in those situations right can't go nowhere with her cause surely you're joking mr freeman is a fantastic book mr Feynman. Feynman. watermelon gang i'm gonna pop a watermelon or two watermelon watermelon look at that watermelon juiciness look at that that looks great beautiful beautiful right beautiful very delicious very delicious i'm gonna pop a couple of more watermelons gang look at this one look at this one Ooh, look at that oh 
Look at that juice coming down. Bloop. Watermelon and feta cheese. So good. I'm just watching, reading chat taking place between people, which is fantastic. M1K went to three grocery stores to find watermelon and none had them. Yeah, they just recently came into the grocery stores here. Spider Man Graham, thank you for taking care of business. Looks like we're getting my favorite fruit. Oh, I love fruit. My favorite fruit. Uh, I ate a lot of bananas, apples, in season watermelon. I like plums. Uh, oh, pomegranates, pomegranates. Graham says, a lot of business. I don't feel like I can keep up. Okay, Graham. Let me see if I can lend you a hand. It's the late stream trolls. Yeah, they come in late. For some reason i'm not seeing so i'm gonna stay up to up to bottom of chat gang okay spider-man graham thanks man i'm lurking so i appreciate you always taking care of business okay i'm gonna do this nice i got my <laughs> i got my smack slash timeout ready <laughs> written down pomegranate is my pomegranate is amazing uh figs dates oh so good so good whoa i propped them uh, popped in the middle of the action i was worried i'd miss the stream ah nice mangoes and strawberries and raspberries all together for, all together for you nice do you put them in a blender or do you just eat them I think that would make a good liqueur that would probably make a fantastic liqueur pineapples are great pineapples are great in the summer too yeah indeed indeed and lemons i love lemons like lemons are important right watermelons red dates with sticky rice stuffed inside with a sugar syrup best way to eat fruit <laughs> smith says best way to eat fruit watermelon lots of pictures of watermelons oh, look at the juice i wish i wish these watermelons had uh, black seeds in them spider-man chisho unrelated but i'm starting my japanese culture dive starting with the birth of anime and japanese culture then diving into hundreds of anime movies and shows i'm ready for all oh, spider-man what a ride that's going to be what a ride amazing amazing i hope you enjoy it i'm so glad anime has been a huge part of my life Twitching Jason, how you doing? Hey Chicho. Will you be doing any garden streams soon? I actually just planted some pota uh, potatoes and beans recently, so I need to go through your gardening content. Um, I, I will be in the patio. Once the school season's over, I'll have more free time during the day and in the mornings and stuff that I can get into the patio. We did our grapes. That was good. And I just went and bought... Uh, how much uh 50 pounds five pound uh, no 50 pounds 50 pounds 50 100 pounds 120 pounds of soil and stuff both indoor and outdoor that uh we're gonna repot some stuff so we will be twitching jason at some point my nationality armenian iranian canadian chicho did you hear about the Uh, 
I'm not appearing to authority because if I had, oh, do we, oh, I got kicked up. Shoop. Uh, lost something. Did you hear about the hydrochloroquine study that MSN was using to smear Trump? Yeah, I don't, I don't watch MSN, man. Really, mainstream media. I don't like when people say, "Oh, did you see what mainstream media says?" It's like, "Oh, did you, did you, did you know somebody farted?" Like, I don't care. All right? The hell with them. They're just propaganda, man. They're just propaganda, gang. If you're following mainstream propaganda sources, if that is occupying your time, where you're getting pissed off of what they're doing, you're doing it wrong. If you want to inform yourself, start reading in-depth things. If you spend an hour a day, and trust me, I like I go through news sources. I go through multiple hours a day of news and information, articles, lectures, videos, interviews. I've been doing that for a long, long time, but I don't watch CNN. I don't. The only time I I see mainstream media is if my sources are quoting them, referencing them, right? And I listen for a little bit, and if they're focusing on that too much, I move on to the next source, right? Because I'm not interested in that crap, right? I know they're lying. If, if my sources start talking about how mainstream propaganda is lying to people all the time i stop following those sources i'm not interested in that right they've been caught in the echo chamber but if you're spending an hour two hours a day watching mainstream propagandists stop those hours will be better spent reading days of destruction days of revolt read that read uh wilhelm reich's mass psychology of fascism right read this a book written in the 1930s first uh first uh, uh print right and then revamped in the 1940s and multiple times there's a chapter here that i don't agree with which is related to uh, the lgbt community but put it into context i i haven't read the whole thing because i hit that chapter and it turned me off a little bit but there's amazing information there of how fascism comes to be stop watching listening to mainstream propagandists stop it gang right it's just pure garbage chicho is like uh, borat he's man of the people ah sam hit i am not like borat borat is a sellout he's a schmuck the guy sold he's he's a he's a garbage sure he did some amazing stuff but he went on to apac right and he said how much he supported israel and how 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 the zionist organizations were doing good things and all this crap there was a there was a little interview he gave like a lecture he gave he said oh this 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 so he's a sellout he's supporting genocide okay so borat sure he he portrays that that aspect of him right but he's been bought and sold a gazillion times over and i've watched borat this is america that series was good and i saw i was watching borat back in 2000 1990 when he came out with all the different characters i watched some of the stuff it was fun it was okay right it's not bad entertainment and he did some he a lot of political stuff too but when he comes out and supports genocide and says it's okay to kill palestinians basically that's what he was saying and take their land away then no the guy's a sellout i, I won't watch him uh, thank you for trying to do a legit comparison of who i am to someone who you think is a legit human being that cares has empathy for other human beings but he is not okay he is not okay chichalad my point is there is a lot of push by msn to smear trump yeah for sure and it's not just about smearing trump they're lifting up war criminals bush jr do you see the way they treat bush jr the guy's a mass murdering war obama mass mur clinton mass murdering war war criminals it's not just about smearing who are they lifting up mass murdering war criminals right i don't believe in that but the job the general population if we stop talking about the corporate propagandas really i don't want i don't want my live streams to be all corporate propagandas there's way more intelligent stuff to talk about if there are people stupid enough 
to focus their lives on what corporate propagandists are telling them let them i don't care about them i just don't want to make what the corporate propagandists are doing the central theme of my discussion this is more discussion that i like to spend on the propagandists right and this comes up every stream where people say did you see that no man i don't watch their crap right why would i would i why would i let them come into my home right why why do i invite i'm very selective of who i interact with okay for bogart 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 <gasps> sam hit you said bogart not borat me and my little bit of dyslexia and stuff i have there right bogart thank you very much for the love bogart i liked chicho is like bogart he's a man of the people brother thank you very much but at least i'm glad i got the borat stuff out of the way <laughs> no one's brought him up actually but bogart thank you graham thanks for having my back brother graham corrects a lot of things uh mistakes i made uh huge appreciation man i like bogart i like bogart a lot right I don't know about his personal choices too much i know a little bit but the movies he, he played and the characters he portrayed and who he was in those movies uh is legit right casablanca was amazing right and some of the other movies too there's one movie he he played in there were uh they were on an island there were prisoners and it was a penal colony and they were basically the helpers for this family that had a shop it was a black and white movie and he was a killer and he was with a couple of other killers and stuff like this and they were planning on escaping that's a very heartfelt movie fantastic movie thank you very much by the way uh sam hit graham thanks for correcting me my bad my bad i have no idea where to start with the anime stuff there's so much content to take in grave of the fireflies spider-man watch grave of the fireflies first watch all of the studio ghibli movies they've put out okay watch there's so many animes to, to watch hey what do you think about brazilian politics oh god pocket borsalero oh my god fascist zio christian uh armageddonist horrendous right you know you know who your leaders are right when the first thing they do they anyway we'll leave that alone was a chicho i think we have a responsibility to expose them to everyday people i doubt it look here, here's a question to chat how many of you guys watch corporate propagandists and believe the garbage they spew was us I can guarantee you almost guarantee you that most of the people on this stream okay and most of the people that watch my content they don't they don't follow that garbage right and if they do after one stream hopefully they get the hint that they shouldn't be watching that crap right it's indoctrination we are sadly minority i'll leave the subject alone now thanks you my pleasure but yeah it, it doesn't interest me what they say i'm interested in the long game do you must no coffee i don't invest in the stock market i have played with the stock market many moons ago right and i know how it works lag mr chisho i was watching your stream one year ago i don't know if you remember me i am greek i asked you about the state of zoroastrianism in the world and you told me some interesting stories i returned to twitch because of the quarantine you are awesome ah thanks like yeah and i had zoroastrian friends and i've gone to a zoroastrian temple and i know know a little bit about their inner workings and stuff for a while there i had a lot of zoroastrian friends and was exposed to the community and stuff uh, so yeah in general very peaceful very peaceful tribe man Who was helping i forget who it was was this with the ptsd who was asking for help in chat with their ptsd rj push play 
next stream chicho show shows up with a unlit cigarette hanging from his mouth bogart style nice if i still smoke the joints maybe i would have a joint but i don't me i was asking firestone okay awesome i'm glad you're still here firestone fire firestone nine i don't watch news except what seeps through the cracks yeah same here graham ah there's recommendations about anime start with cowboy bebop out uh outlaw star trigon black lagoon is so good i've watched i looped black lagoon twice i went through it once and did it again <laughs> back to bad i did the same thing with cowboy bebop as samurai shampoo and space dandy right outlaw star i still haven't watched and trigon i've watched some right haven't watched the news since i was about eight uh, banana St stain says i realized early that they just wanted to play with my thoughts yeah was is hopefully chicho can offer advice but i'm uh, i'm looking uh now for you thank you very much cowboy people is a solid choice to start solid choice to start if you like sci-fi cowboy bebop and samurai shampoo as well and space dandy as well maddie gg hey chicho how are you hope all is well doing good brother thank you very much and welcome to another live stream towards the end of the stream actually lag the inner uh composure of your arguments your calm demeanor and the books behind you are such a powerful image awesome <laughs> like three <laughs> and the plant don't forget the plant <laughs> and the and our bowl uh rallis said i'll read this again because david uh, dorn came up did you hear that david dorn's killer was convicted seven years prison in 2004 14 for felony robbery but got prohibition broke prohibition twice then got two further prohibitions never serving a day in prison isn't this the type of stuff we should be protesting uh, that's one of them right there are many things we should be protesting there should be people protesting the federal reserve wall street bail not bailouts theft people should be protesting uh for bush jr to go to prison for obama to go to prison for clinton to go to prison we should be protesting many things in our lives there isn't just one thing that's horrendous there are many things that are horrendous maddie gg wow that makes me even sadder i've been uh keeping up with that story but did not know that yeah i didn't know that either right but is that an an anomaly in the united states hell no it's not an anomaly put up put it on the same level did you know that a lot of the police officers that are spending time in jail for murdering people they had multiple occurrences of murdering people and the system let them out right and they still allow them to serve as a police officer and kill people right so it's on the same front what's the difference right one terrible event to focus yeah picking uh, picking one terrible event to focus on doesn't invalidate the issues that people are protesting about 100 percent true perps there are 26 episodes are in the adventure action category for an easy transition in anime especially space cat as uh, uh cowboy bebop space cowboys cowboy bebop right first yeah cowboy bebop is amazing absolutely brilliant and the soundtrack wow 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 and uh, what do you call it uh samurai shampoo soundtrack nuja baz fantastic gang should we call the stream we're into two hours let's call the stream great conversations great conversations thank you very much for being here again um and thank you for being civil thank you for taking care of business mods graham you were busy today thank you for being here you, I, i'm sorry if i was way behind chat um next time um i have to catch up to chat and if this stuff happens let me know i'll stay up to chat and try to address things and we'll clean house as we let people
talk and I'll act as a mod and let people uh, talk to each other. That went quickly. That was two and a half hours. That was uh, two hours, not two and a half. That was two hours. <laughs> These things go by insanely fast, insanely fast. I just wonder. Are you are you a granddad? Granddad? No, I don't even have kids, man. I don't want to take on that responsibility. Do th think about it this way: Would you want to take on the responsibility of raising someone like you? I don't. <laughs> Not by a long shot. I know what I did when I was younger, and I'm, uh, I have no desire to allow be dealing with that. Right? Okay. Just letting you know. Okay. Aside from that, gang. I'm on Patreon. If you want to support this work, Patreon is a fantastic way to support this project. Patreon.com backslash Chicho, C H Y C H O. Okay. I don't put anything behind paywall. And this is Creative Commons. Share and share alike, right? Follow the work, right? You don't have to support funds to follow the work. You can just follow the work. You'll get updates as to what I'm posting. And if you do like this work that we're putting out, and if you do find the means now in the future doesn't matter patreon is a fantastic way to support this project okay i am live streaming this on twitch twitch.tv backslash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat live twitch is where you want to be at you can follow the work you can subscribe following and subscribing is a fantastic way to support this project okay i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on twitter gavs minds vk and elo okay and i do share additional information so if you want to follow some of the stuff that we're sharing and what we're doing you can join those platforms whichever one you're in okay i will be uploading the audio of these live stream discussions to soundcloud soundcloud.com backslash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o okay as podcast basically and if you want to follow this work in audio format soundcloud is where you want to be at okay and i will be uploading this video to youtube and bitshoot everything that we do goes on bitshoot technical problems allowing and because there's a ton of censorship taking place on youtube whatever we can get away with we load on youtube as long as we're not it doesn't put us in danger of being the platform and if you do want to support this work we do have youtube membership available as of the beginning of this year 2020 and youtube membership is also a great way to support this project and if you want to follow everything we're doing subscribe to bitshoot highly recommended highly recommended the odds are there's going to be more content politics politics related and whatnot going on bitshoot than youtube okay aside from that gang huge thank you to graham for taking care of business really he was a busy mod today um we were getting some trolls and whatnot and he's still going at it so graham thank you very much for taking care of business uh, everybody thank you for following thank you for the subs thank you for the conversations thank you for the discussions thank you for the follows thank you for if you're deciding to go on these platforms thank you for following this work on these platforms okay and i'll see you guys tomorrow 7 30 p.m same time we're going to talk about economics personal finance maybe related to housing okay focus on housing homes whatnot i'm pretty sure it'll go into economics wall street some of the other stuff and most likely with a little bit of politics involved in there so if you want to continue this discussion we go again tomorrow for a couple of hours. Aside from that, gang, I hope you have a fantastic evening, morning, afternoon. Be well, everyone. Peace.